What are you doing? I want to sleep in your bed. Oh, good night, honey. I love you. This is for your own good. Lois, where, where, where are you going? Lois? Lois? Lois, answer me! Damn you, I will not be ignored! Get back in here! Get back in here and love me! Ah! Lois! Oh, this is so relaxing. I could get used to this. Like the way I got used to wearing European diapers. Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino. If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth. You know what? So Carol was just going on and on about how I should be mayor. And it's got me thinking, it is an interesting idea. You think I should do it? Absolutely not. I mean, if not me, who? Anyone. If not now, when? Never. You know, why not me? A million reasons. I mean, who do you want in there? Some career politician? Yes. What are they gonna do? Govern. Thanks, Dewey. Your support means a lot. You don't have it. Brian, what is this on my ship? Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! You can't hurt anyone anymore. Are you watching porn in the kitchen? Come on, man, we eat it here. Anyway, I need you to drive me to Middleborough. Middleborough? That's like two hours from here. I'm not doing that. Come on, Brian. Tell you what, you drive me to Middleborough, and I'll teach you my secret to picking up chicks. Hey, you, me, baboom, huh? Good morning, Lois. My, Stewie, you're in a good mood today. Oh, why shouldn't I be? You saved Rupert's life, and I love you for it. So warn the villagers, here comes the cuddle monster. <sighs> oh, Lois, your breasts are great. Well, good morning, Mr. Nipple. Hey there. Must be cold in here. Uh... <gasps> here they come. Kiss me! Come on, we gotta follow them. Stewie? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh, Everything all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, hey, listen, freaking shot in the dark. You want to do something sometime? Ew! 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 Uh, uh, what is it? Brian, is Paul Sorvino standing behind me? Hey, you want a sugar cube, horsey? Uh, oh, God, Brian, don't! Uh, 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 ew! 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 I have an idea. You should ask Taylor Swift to the homecoming dance. What? Why would she go to a dance with me? I'm telling you, this is exactly the kind of thing she would do. She's such a sweetheart. Oh, I'm going limp. Oh, I'm just going to lie here moaning, thinking about Taylor Swift. Oh, oh, Tay-Tay. On my shoe? My poop. That's right, and it's disgusting. I am sick of you using the front yard as your bathroom. It's time you learn to use the toilet like everyone else. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze, I'm gonna sneeze. Achoo. This could save us a lot of money. Yeah, everyone except Brian, because he bought a Prius. What a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I miss? Are we laughing at Brian? Ah, uh, Brian, you suck. Good job, Brian. Don't worry, I'll help you through this. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Pardon me, sir, I'd like to join. What are your qualifications? I have a British accent, I'm possibly homosexual, I never brush my teeth, and my wife is ghastly. Bombs away! What are you talking about? You ripped a whole chunk of wall out of the house. What is this? There's something wrong with the house! I don't like change! Do we? Ugh, look, there's Brody Jenner. God, what a douchebag. I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Yes. <gasps> I haven't been this scared since Mother Teresa OD'd in my car. She is messed up, man! Shut up! Just shut up! Let me fucking think! <laughs> Push her out. We can't leave her alone! Push the bitch out! <laughs> Very good boy. Tell me how, tell me how. Where's the fat man? Ah, oh, damn it. But I promised Peter. What is it? What is it, boy? The fat man dug a tunnel to go hang out with Cleveland Joe and Quagmire? We've got to tell someone. What is it, Stewie? Well, well. Daddy went to a Peter Cetera concert in Cleveland with Robin Tunney? 
Peter, why are there so many bottles of milk in the refrigerator? Oh, thanks for reminding me. Everyone, some of the milk in the fridge is not milk. It's horse sperm. I'm a horse breeder now. Dewey, you in there? You think he's here? Oh, God, it's Cleveland and Bob Hope. Oh, well, the damage is done. Better get them out of here. Perhaps I'll shackle them in the basement with a 24-hour broadcast of the DirecTV Help Channel. Hey there, it's your pal Peter Griffin. Whoa, hold on to your hats, because we're just getting started. Don't even think about nodding off. We've got some killer videos coming up. I can't wait to dive into them with you. It's going to be more fun than watching Quagmire discover online dating. It's Bob Welch. All right, you know what? I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Well, I hope so, because I've tried everything. Counting sheep, thinking sleepy thoughts. I even hired the Sandman. Sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and sand and good night! Come on, get, get down there, you old bag. There we go. Stewie, what are you doing? Being awesome. Whoa, wait, 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 you're in no condition to drive. I'm fine to drive. I'm so fine. You just, I can do all the tests. See, I can touch my nose. I can touch my head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Stop it. No, you stop it. You stop it. Brian, you're interfering with my professional business. Where's the radio? <laughs> <gasps> oh, my God, are you okay? No. I don't feel so good. We should probably exchange numbers. Okay, I'm a ten, you're a four. <laughs> I have an idea. <sighs> oh, I know you're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. Ugh, 6 a.m. I shouldn't have stayed up all night listening to Persian radio. Hey, that was Roxette with You've Got the Look. It's 21 o'clock and... Stewie Griffin, our resident baby genius, is all about tuning into the radio, though half the time I'm scratching my head trying to figure him out. But hey, let's not forget about his TV-watching marathons. I swear, he's more glued to the screen than Quagmire is to his recliner during a hot dog eating contest. Oh, and still 27 centigrade out there. Ooh, that's hot. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the Shevi desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shaleb Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2. The Hach. Ryan! Brian! Hold, hold on oh, one second. I'll be right with you, Mr. Duckford. Brian! What? Let's order... I was just thinking, let's order a kebab. A what? A kebab. But I, but I want it in this order. Vegetable, meat, meat, vegetable, meat. And uh, Mr. Duckford would like some crackers. <laughs> Can I leave now? No, no, Brian. No, you can't. Uh, Brian, I need your help. I've made a series of small poops in my bath, and I need you to scoop them out with this fishnet. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You have to. You're my butler. I'm not your butler. I know, but wouldn't it be great if you were? It'd be, I'd be so happy. In fact, the only thing that would make me happier is would, is, would be if this tub was filled with yogurt. Can you, can you get me some yogurt? Is the yogurt shop still open? Is there, some, is there some place to dial up yogurt? Stop saying that. What's the best skin yogurt? Who, who can prepare me a nice yogurt treatment? If you say it like that one more time, I'm going to drown you. Yogurt. Uh, see, you're not, you're not going to do anything. You, hey, hey, Brian, am I a good little guy? You know what I think the problem is, Joey? I need to show them that I deserve to be customer of the week. You don't. Well, they probably see a woman like me and think, yeah, she's got it all. They don't. I know, it's a silly little award, but I don't ask for much. You do. And this is the one place, the one place that makes me feel happy. You aren't. Now, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I really vibe with everyone there. You don't. I'm one of their best customers. You know, if I stopped showing up, they'd probably wonder where I went. They wouldn't. Because I'm a nice person. You're not. I tip in cash. So? And I can't think of one reason and why they wouldn't pick me. I can. Oh, thanks for listening, Stewie. I had no choice. 
All right, if you're gonna make me do this, at least let me lead. Fine, you lead. All right, then. Oh, man, watching Stewie and Brian dance together is like seeing a cat and dog perform ballet. Unexpectedly adorable and hilariously perfect for each other. It's like they're the peanut butter and jelly of the dance floor now. I love you. What? What'd you say? Uh, olive juice. Olive juice? Olive juice, you too. Ugh, an unfamiliar dog. Why don't you go away? I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Rupert! Oh dear God, somebody help! Rupert! Give me that bear! <laughs> oh, honey, I'm afraid Rupert had a little injury. Oh, Rupert, please live. Please, I'll never be short with you again. We'll, we'll, we'll go away. We'll, we'll go to Hawaii. Would you like that? I always envisioned how it would be. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew there could be such a thing as a perfect day. Don't frolic too much, Rupert. Save some energy for the hula contest. Oh, you know, this is why... You, Brian, you remember the last couple of weeks I kept saying, can I have a couple of minutes of your time to talk to you about something? This is what it was about. This evening is ruined. Look, I, Wait, what? This evening is ruined. The whole evening is ruined. Why are you saying it like that? Saying what? I'm just pointing out the party's ruined. You know what? I'm not going to get sucked into this. Okay, just so I'm sure, really? Are, are you just trying to piss me off, or is that really how you say that? What are you talking about? I'm talking about this ruined evening. That's not how you say ruined. What? Ruined? What do you call the remains of ancient Greek structures? Ruins. And how would you describe this evening? Well, ruined, of course. This evening is ruined. Say ruined. 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 Dumbass. Oh, Brian, don't be cruel. No. God, you're more worthless than Colin Farrell. So, uh, you got the wool cap on, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess, you know, uh, whatever, it's uh, 96 degrees out. Yeah, better, better put on the old wool cap. Yeah. Got a lot uh, going on under there, yeah? Under, under the wool cap? Thinking about your sideburns? Yeah, no, 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 you're not a complete jackass, yeah. Oh, hey, nice T-shirt. Fresh. And, it, and it's spelled with a P-H. Oh, that's fun, because it's usually spelled with an F. Yeah. Oh, and you got a little tear on your pants there. Oh, that's on purpose, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you're a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Society wants your pants to be intact, but you're just not going to listen, are you? My God, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kill you. Hey, you, go easy on the communion wine today. Don't want another one of your drunken mishaps. Let me get in that belly. Let me get that belly. I'm going to give you a... As Peter Griffin, let me tell you about Stewie's burping habit. It's like he's got a tiny orchestra in his belly, and every burp is their grand performance. I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. Wow, you know, you're right. Maybe I should just try a whole new approach. Thanks. Okay, you can stop that now. I can't hear you. I'm a robot. Come on, knock it off. Does not compute. Boo. I'm going to bed. I do not require sleep. Boo. <laughs> uh, let's see the kid with the hearing aid from Barney do this. You sound like an unbelievable douche. Then Brian comes in and I change up the tempo. Brian comes in and he changes the song. Looking at me like he thinks I'm a douchebag. But he's gonna learn pretty fast that he's wrong. Hey, Brian, why are you bringing me down, man? Why are you bringing me down? Don't bring me down! Music and lyrics by Stewie Griffin. <laughs> Stewie, what are you doing? Huh? Oh, Brian, oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I've got to tell you, this stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you, there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. 
You're not for kids. <laughs> Stewie, you're drunk. Oh. Uh... As Peter Griffin here. Man, Stewie's just a tot, but he's hitting the sauce like a pro. With my hands full, keeping tabs on him is like herding cats while juggling flaming chainsaws. Oh, is, oh, Brian's all serious. Oh, I, do, I don't drink in the morning because I've got to land a plane. <laughs> right, come on, I gotta drive you to daycare. Okay, okay, it's all right. Uh, calm down, calm down. Uh, 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 I think I, I think I put my shoes on the wrong feet. Is it nine fifteen already? Lois, we gotta go. There's no sign of them anywhere. Meg, Chris, Brian, they're gone. I'm all alone. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm going to take Brian's novel and replace every use of the word and with the word fart. The young soldier, fart his brother, looked at each other. Fart both knew that with love, fart truth, fart courage, they would both emerge stfarting on their feet. Ugh, that one didn't work. Did you think you were cool? Did you think you were grown up? Hmm? <laughs> I didn't actually drink any of it. Besides, Jake Tucker gave it to me. Well, we are going to have a talk with Jake's parents tomorrow after my burping. And in the meantime, you're grounded, Chris. Oh, come on, that sucks. Do you want us to pull over? I don't care what you do. Oh, we'll pull over. We'll pull over. Pull over. <laughs> if your teachers ask about your bruises, what do you tell them? I got hit by a baseball. <laughs> Uh, Brian, spit on me. Oh, that's nice. Now tell me I'm scum. How will that cool you off? Hmm? Eh, I guess so. What? I have been trying to get a sewing machine for months, but she gets a freaking car just like that? I hate this place. Ooh, you got some pie, eh? Can I have a piece? Uh, sure. Ooh, let me have some of that Cool Whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without Cool Whip. Cool Whip? Cool Whip, yeah. You mean Cool Whip? Yeah, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're saying it weird. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? What are you talking about? I'm just saying it. Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on pie. Pie tastes better with Cool Whip. Say Whip. Whip. Now say Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. You're eating hair! <laughs> All right, but just one last piece of advice. Remember, listen to her body and respond the way you'd want her to respond to you. Uh, okay, thanks. That's very helpful. You'll be a wonderful lover, Brian. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, you, you just had a little, uh, something. Hi, Jillian. Hi, Brian. Ready to go? Hey, baby. Hi, Stewie. What the hell are you doing? Eh, not much, really. Oh, Stewie, you're turning my cheeks redder than quagmire on a Saturday night with your pranks. Who in Quahog convinced you to deck out in those wacky toys? It's just me and my pubes. Hang now. Oh, dear God. Boy, I am so beat from doing adult stuff all day. So am I. I just kind of feel like kicking it tonight. Oh, look at that. I'm growing all the time. Hey, uh, Jillian, can you give me a minute? You ever just let your balls hang out, b Rai? You ever do that, b Roni? Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was bright. Hey, you ever check Joe's Facebook? Oh, I know. Awful. Hidden Cheesecake Factory again. So amped. And then the symbol that means wink. Really? I mean, like, why, why the wink? I mean, is, is, there, is there something that we're supposed to be in on? Is, is, is he not going there? Is, is, he, is he not amped? And, and, and who cares if he is? You know? Dick. I'm off to the farmer's market. I've got to pick up some plutonium for a new return pad. In case I decide to make another universe later. Plutonium at the farmer's market? Yep, I'm only using organic plutonium now. Think globally, buy locally. Hey, slut, get me out of this. Oh, good God, look at the fat man's underwear. Looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Don't put that in with my things! Huh, what's this? You know, Stewie, Mommy doesn't usually read things out of Chris's pockets. She's more respectful than that. Well, whatever helps you sleep at night, bitch. I need her love. I need her love, and she's ignoring me. Well, let's see her try to ignore this. <laughs> Lewis, help! I ate this whole jar of pills that looked like candy, and now I feel sick. You look like a jackass. Can't hear you, Brian. I'm dead. All right. <laughs> What did you do? Oh, that is so not cool. Yes. 
I know how to get her attention. Larius, I'm about to drink my first soda. Better come stop me. Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good. Rupert, suddenly I want to run. Chase me. Oh, now I'm sad. This is mine, and this is mine, and that's mine, and this is mine. Oh, what's this? Hot Monogamy, the board game for failing marriages. Dare card. Have her do a striptease and see how long it takes you to get a boner. What's a boner? A Connors? He was a basketball player and he was in Roots. Yeah, he wasn't in the towering inferno, you dumb beaver. Brian, look! Well, thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments which moment you liked the most. Also, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Look, I purchased authentic blueprints to build a Star Trek transporter. Well, that's great, Stewie. You should get William Shatner to sign them for you. No way. I'm getting Patrick Stewart to sign it. Picard has it all over Kirk. He's poised and measured and doesn't wear a cheap rug. Rather, he accepts even baldness with a quiet cool that says, I am in command. You are safe with me. I will cradle you in my arms through any crisis in any galaxy. Are you queer? Probably. Hey, babe, what do you say? We going out Saturday night? Stewie, what are you doing here? I told you I'm just into a different type of guy. Oh, yeah? I'll tell you what you're into. Being ugly. Stewie, you're being mean. No, if I was being mean, when you opened the door, I would have said, Oh, hey, Ray Liotta, is Olivia home? Oh, wait, you're Olivia. You see, I thought you were Ray Liotta because your skin has the texture of a decorative autumn squash. <laughs> so, I'll pick you up at seven. That sounds wonderful. And we especially don't like the way you hump that chair in the den. Well, Rupert seems to like my humping. What did you say? Rupert. Humped him for two hours yesterday. He just laid there and took it. Did he? Yeah. And now every time you're sleeping with him, he's going to be thinking of me.